this review is really not going to make any sense soon. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and today, from what you can tell from the title, we are reviewing this amazing, wonderful, beautiful, inspiring, incredible and thought-provoking series by Mallory Blackman. This is Noughts and Crosses. It is primarily a kind of YA alternate reality, no, speculative fiction, speculative dystopian situation. I originally read the series like three years ago and that's not when I had a channel and had the facilities I do now. Um, so today I'm going to review the whole series, not really going that much into each book one by one. If you want to know more about each novel let me know, I'll try and recall my thoughts <laughs> from three years ago. But I do have a crossfire review which is this one and this is the last one in the series. I'll uh, link it up here somewhere, not that side, it'll be that side, I don't know. Um, yeah so that one as an independent review is already on my channel. When I was going through my blog, um, I realised I did have a blog post on there about the series. So, if you wanted to look at that, I'll link that in the description. So, yeah. Also, if you have not already, you need to watch the TV show. Because it is one of the best series adaptations I have seen. Because this is the 100. This is what you need. This is just precious. So precious. I'm one episode left from the finale and I just don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Okay, anyway, enough of that, let's just get on with the review. Okay, so for those of you who don't actually know what this series is about, you've never heard of it, you've been living under a rock for the past, I don't know, like 20 years, let me just see when this came out. So, this was first published in 2001, meaning it is 19 years old, meaning this isn't a new and woke novel, it is one that has been around for almost two decades and highlights that these issues have been around for a lot longer than these two decades but anyway enough of that so what I'll do is I'll put like a little description of the first novel there but primarily it is a novel that follows two families and these two families are intertwined so it's the Hadley family and the McGregors now in this whole world um I can't remember what the other names for England and Africa are, so I'm just going to say England and Africa. So Africa is the coloniser instead of the colonisee or the colonised and Africa is the imperial superpower who has gone into Europe and thus colonised and put their culture into those areas instead. Thoughts and Crosses, she says, well, is kind of has the tagline of being a novel of love and then it goes to Knife Edge, which is a novel of hate. Now, it is a novel of hate because, oh, there's so many, you can't make a good review because there's so many things that happen in the first one that I'll just be spoiling it. So basically, there's a big death. There's a big death in the first season, this first book, and it's a death so large, you think, how the hell has she written four other books, okay? Now, this one, is basically about the hate and the revenge that is consumed by the characters following the aftermath of the said big death. I hope that makes sense. I hope you're still with me. So Check Me um, is taglined a novel of hope. Now this follows on from the repercussions that occurred after Sefi and Callum's relationship. That's all I'm gonna say. The repercussions are in here and it's really pivotal in looking at how young, influential, naive, innocent kids can be manipulated in a way to serve, I want to say a greater purpose, but like a greater purpose in a sense that is quite racially driven, is quite niche to certain races, so what about being brainwashed? There you go about little kids being brainwashed so then finally well not finally because well i thought it was going to end here this is double cross and this one is more a novel of re revenge um but in my eyes i think they all really are from the first one onwards um but yes yeah, so this kind of follows on about a generation down now so instead of it being more concerned about callum and sefi and jude it's kind of the generation below them and how not really much has changed in the like, I don't know, 10 years on um, 
and how society maybe is probably even worse especially when it comes to those that are mixed race and how they as they don't fit into a box they're even more segregated and even more marginalized because they just they don't fit in because they are a blend of these two distinct groups that are at war with each other whereas a mixed race person represents these two distinct groups intertwined and like the love between them rather than the hatred and that does make some people uncomfortable and then crossfire i think has to be my actual favorite i think this one and noughts and crosses they are my two favorite novels of the actual season i say season because i watched a tv show series series um and this one is a novel of ambition and again it focuses right kind of after this one but it's about 16 years later so it's these characters grown up and it's more about this new generation making changes now that they're older and that they've seen differently and so yeah that's the novel by novel kind of overview really from what sticks out to me in my own own head there's key events in each of them that kind of really pop out but i can't share them because they're not I just think the whole series like on a whole is beautifully written there's no holding back it's not like she's made it all full of symbolism and metaphor um it's all you can see direct parallels between society we live in now and the novel it's no nothing is led to to doubt or anything like that you can you know what she's saying you can link that directly to something that's gone on in the real world there's a lot of strands within each novel that are kind of really surface level and just just below the surface that you get the odd hint maybe it's a news article that one of the characters have read or something they've overheard in conversation and you don't realize its impact until it becomes to the surface the liberation militia more concerned about naught rights and even though they have a really good ethos and they they have a very valid point their means to justify the end so that it's more letterbox bombings and do you know all that sort of stuff and like threatening people and it's more brainwashing and it's very interesting to see how that group can like just claw its fingers and its branches into every character's lives um without them being actually too exposed to it the way that she writes it and the way that she intertwines everything is just really clever and even though these are all kind of really key aspects of the novel she doesn't make them shine straight away she gives them their time she lets them brew in the background she lets she like feeds you the pieces of information so yeah so she gives them their time to grow to flourish to gain their momentum in relation to their own storyline and narrative and then when the time is right she will just hit you with it and you're like where did that come from i think a lot of what i just said was ramble so i apologize for that this like, series just gets me really excited and the season on bbc is just incredible and i have not been this hyped about something for a very long time so yeah i think that's all i have to say right so that is the end of the review for the knots and crosses series i'm scared that if i keep talking this video is just going to be about 20 minutes long and you guys ain't gonna watch that so this is the end um i hope you enjoy this is not sponsored at all by the way i wish it was i wish they paid me to do this because i would have been living my best life i just really loved this series um so i'll link all the relevant stuff below get to like and subscribe all of that good stuff down below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye blah 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 Oh, that was deep. Oh, no. Just ignore that point. Just stop. Ah. What is the what's, the... what's the word? Oh. Okay, can't even get me words out. Is it play?